La da da da, time to steal something off of this person's desk again. Like those shiny coins. Yes, I'll take those. How do they smell? Yes, they smell pretty good. I think I'll take them. I would love to have these in my collection. Oh no, I should probably check if there's anyone around. That would be bad. Well, the odds that somebody's just around the corner is very unlikely, so I think I won't worry about that for now. Oh my goodness! Finally caught you, Gremlin. Gremlin? First of all, I am an elf. That is insulting. And second, I have done nothing wrong, and I suggest you put away that weapon. Done nothing wrong? I just saw you with those coins saying you would steal them. This is the third time this week, and it's all you. No, 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 no. That was not me. So, I suggest you put away the weapon. This? No. I don't think I will. I made this specifically to get rid of you. Get hit? That would kill me! A weapon of that caliber would destroy my frail little body! Do you really want murder on your conscience? You won't pull the trigger. You may be taller than me, but you don't have the strength. So, I have a gremlin problem, and I did some research online on how to get rid of them. Some people suggest putting baking soda at the point of entry, some people suggest putting garlic oil on all of your personal belongings, but those don't really work for me. I wanted to make a solution that I knew would absolutely work. So I made a gun. Don't worry, it's not, it's not dangerous to humans, only to gremlins. I mean, it could be dangerous to humans if you weren't wearing proper eye protection because rubber bands can can hurt. At the very least, I know it's absolutely enough to get rid of my gremlin problem. And I thought I'd show you how I built it. First, I designed a 3D model for my 3D printer, and here's the G-code for that. Next, I printed it. Here you can see the exquisite precision of poorly tuned Creality Ender 3 V2. And honestly, for the price that you buy these at, it's absolutely amazing stuff. After the first layer looked like it was going well, I felt confident in letting it go and do its thing. And checking on the progress, it seemed like it would take about 25 minutes. Now that the print had completed and looked good, it was time to take it off the bed and start cleaning it up a little bit. All there was to clean up really was to remove the unwanted noodles and cut off the little discardable noodles. And after all of that is done, you end up with this thing. Um, let me show you how it works. Okay. The first step is to place one end of the elastic on the tip of the shooter and stretch it so it gets hooked onto the back. Then, you very carefully take one side and place it over this little edge, then you take the other side and place it over the little nub. Then, you're ready to pull the trigger and release the elastic. Try not to destroy any fancy filming equipment. Let me show it a little bit closer. One side over the little edge, and one side over the little nub. And here you can see exactly the mechanism that happens. All that happens is it pushes it up and the elastic shoots. And here it is, my complete little elastic shooter with a compliant mechanism because I felt like designing something. And the truth is, this is the fifth iteration. Things don't always work out the first time. And here's the first one. I got so excited about designing an actual compliant trigger that I forgot to have any kind of release mechanism for the elastic, so that wasn't going to work. Here's the second one, where I started understanding what was going on, but still was not quite right. By the third one, I think I started getting it a little bit. It was kind of working, but spaces were a little bit weird, it felt a little annoying to use. The fourth one was actually kind of successful, except a lot of parts were kind of pinchy on the fingers, the trigger hurt, that little holdy bit hurt, the thumb bit hurt, so I figured I should probably fix that, and that brings us to the last one. A really important thing to remember is that failure is okay, as long as you learn something from it, because then it was a successful learning opportunity. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, um, I appreciate it. If for some reason you want to make one of these little things for yourself, there'll be a link in description where you can get um, the files for it. What? Did... <laughs> Those are not real words. As I inch 
ever closer. It is time to say farewell to you and everyone that you know.